Techies from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer Run Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the GXD new generation of arcade machines. So in previous videos, I did a lot of reviews regarding big arcade machines, full arcade machines, and tiny versions. But nevertheless, we are going to take a close look at this one. Um, the question remains, what does it support? There's not a lot of information on the box. It says it has 64-bit system inside. It comes in this collectible box and it has a quite big screen, so very curious how it's going to run. Alright, so let's do a little bit of unboxing first. Alright, let's see what do we get inside. I just wanted to do the unboxing together with you guys. It's just fun to unbox together. First, we're going to get the peeper. If you're happy, leave good feedback. Alright, so he gives me a little gift. So that's something sometimes it happens, not all the time, so this is pretty unique, it just gives me some little extra thing. And let's see what we're going to get. Ooh, it's an portable device, people. Oh, that is really cool. So the people love this sun. Oh, yeah, wait for it, wait for it. Ah, satisfaction. Oh, I can smell it already. Oh, it's chemical. Alright, so we're going to do a separate review of this portable device because we're going to focus this video on the EXD arcade machine. Alright, let's see what we have more. Wow, very long HDMI cable because we can connect this thing to an HDMI television. It comes with an extra box because we're having extra cables and controllers. So, alright, so let's take a close look at the controller itself. So this is more like the casual controller we're going to get with a lot of these Chinese devices. It's a basic version. We're missing our buttons for certain games like PlayStation, but for the arcade games and their fighting games, it's more than enough. They're a little bit small, so keep in mind it will cramp up your hands. All right, so let's pull it out. And let's see what we're going to get. Ooh. This looks very cool. All right, so here is our friend. Ta -ta -da! All right, so this is the machine itself, nothing else. It got an internal battery, so that's quite cool. That is really awesome. So, all right, so let's take a close look at the controls because let's see what we're going to get. But first, let's talk about the controls and what are we going to get. So here at the left, we're finding an analog stick. This is what we call, or what I call, the Wicked Wiggle Stick. Most of these things are just analog sticks. With, for example, the Neo Geo Mini has exactly the same thing. There's not a real arcade joystick, a little bit of a bummer. What I really can appreciate, what you can see, is that we've got long travel buttons to replicate the arcade experience. So playing this, that is something we need to find out if it's going to play the game like it should be. And here at the top we have select, start, return and volume. This is more a little bit similar to like the G1000. Right, so we've got the brand over here, there's no light up or whatever and there is also no marquee on this machine. Alright, so connecting the device, everything is at the back. We're having the two USB ports for the controllers, HDMI out if you want to hook it up to a television, and TF, or there's a slot over here, micro USB on an off switch, and here we have a speaker. I'm very, very curious if this thing is very loud like the G1000. Alright, so let's power on the device and let's see what are we going to get. It gives you a couple hours of playtime. Hey, this is a very very familiar logo. I've seen it before with similar portable devices. All right, so let's take a close look at the screen because I'm very curious. Is this thing an IPS So what is it? All right, so the screen of the device is seven inch. So it was quite big. Seven inch of fun people, but nevertheless, oh yeah, it's way really awesome, awesome standby mode. But nevertheless, it has a very nice, decent view angle. So that is not bad at all. So not an IPS, but it's not that cheap device or cheap LCD screen you can find with, for example, an X16 portable device. All right, so we're having with the G1000, uh, we're having little thumbnails. You cannot change them out, so what you see is what you're going to get. Here at the bottom, we can see we have the little controller, because here we can go to the systems. And yes, these are the systems that are supported by this GXD. 
It comes with a Capcom, Famicom, GBA, G Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Mega Drive, PlayStation 1 and Super Famicom. So already we're noticing that the little speaker at the back is quite loud. Alright, so here we have the other features like listening to music, watch pretty picture and watch some movies. And here we can do a file explorer, so if you want to remove something or swap something out. Let's go to the setting menu, we have a language, let's see, we have, oh, we have a lot of different languages. Theme style, as you can see we can change the back, the background, not very special. Off screen settings, so if you want to have a longer off screen settings, you can just stand by a different level. As you can see it gets quite bright, I'm going to put it on the brighter setting. Kishun. Oh, that's even more annoying. Let's see what we have more. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right, let's just put it off. Restore default, don't recommend doing that if you, <laughs> if you want to lose everything. All right, so here we have the firmware version. It's, uh, yeah, let's say not the latest firmware, but nevertheless, this is what we're going to get. All right, so let's play some games and let's see how they are running on the device. The sound is pretty good. The loudest setting here. Oh, this is going to be interesting with the analog stick. It is possible, but you need to make the movement all around. It's really annoying. So again, like with the previous model of review, it's just a freaking nightmare. But it did, but they met, they met the. Method. They met the buttons correct, so that's cool. <laughs> Funny is I'm getting used to the joystick now. It's not bad at all. Alright, so if you want to play some fighting games, it works like a charm. The game are emulating very well. Let's see what happens when pressing the return button, ah, like I already expected. You can just quick load, quick save, and let's see we have here, you can just swap the controls, but there's no way of adjusting the screen. All right, so the next part, we are going to try the controller. So very curious, it was how it's going to work. It's plug and play, so I just put it in the USB connection, no configuration needed, it's just ready to go. So that is quite awesome. All right, let's go. The D-pad itself feels a little bit stiff. It's not a really, or a little bit sturdy. It's not the best D-pad I felt, but let's see how it plays. The button's got a very nice touch. All right, so the emulation is very good. All right, let's see how this game runs on the Mega Drive. from your grave. Punch him in the face, kick him in the balls. It's the wicked way to play. Oh man. Beefcake. Macho man. Alright, I found the jump button. Finally. Oh man, those guys are running away. No, 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 no. Don't punch me in the face. Go away. But as you can see, it runs like a charm. It sounds amazing. And yeah, I know it's a stretch image. You can quick load the cachet, but there is no way, so far I know you can. So you can go mess around with the controls, but you can't mess with the screen. It's a little bit strange that they basically pulled it out because I know there are, for fact, a couple of these hardware devices that has an option to get the original aspect ratio. And I know a lot of you love it. 
All right, so I've connected the HDMI to the television and the first thing I'm noticing is just plug and play. You don't need to mess around with settings and it looks pretty decent. It's not a really big stretch out image. Some of these, let's say plug and play devices when you're connecting it to the television, it looks hideous. All right, so let's play some more games and let's see how they are running with the HDMI output. All right, so the sound also comes from the monitor itself. Um, so when you're using the HDMI, the, basically the system itself will be disabled. In other words, no sound, no image, as you can see over there. No, don't do that. All right, let's move this aside. So I'm very curious uh, if there's any difference in the performance when you're connecting it to the television. I did notice with some, let's say, portable devices that we have some differences. Oh. Oh, run pretty smooth. Ow. Paul, that was really nasty. Ow. Paul, don't do that. No. No, Paul, you're going down, my friend. No. Ooh. But what you can see is the runs like a charm. All right, let's try another game. All right, so let's try an arcade game. Let's see how it looks. All right, so keep in mind there is no way of changing the resolution, so they messed it up with this part. But so far so good. Runs like a charm. Predator mode activated. All right, so that's really cool about this mini arcade. If you just want to use it like a game system, you can use it like a game system. Woohoo! the mode activated, Dido. Yeah. No, overheated. It's overheated. Wow, the D-pad on the D-pad is very nice. All right, the D-pad on this controller, so brain fart. I mean, the D-pad on this controller is very nice. All right, let's see if they map the buttons correctly. So this is low, medium, high. Oh yeah, indeed. Oh, nice. So uh, that's something that's really cool. All right, this is the same for the kick. Oh, medium. Oh, is this correct? No, I think this, well, whatever. Uh -huh. I think they, no, no, they messed it up with the kick button. So the punches are correct from low, medium, high, um, but they messed it up with the kick button. Right, so the game loaders are like a charm. I don't see any weird screen doing, so let's move around a little bit. Well. I don't see any weird screen turning, so through the HDMI it worked like a charm. Hmm. Nice. Alright, so this is what we're going to get with the GXD Mini Arcade Machine. I did a lot of reviews of this Mini Arcade Machine, don't forget to check it out. I will make a playlist for you guys. But nevertheless, uh, yeah, the Wicked Wiggle Stick, it's still over here, it's still using this analog. But it is... It can me, but I think it's not the bad the, compared with the other versions I've played. I can get some moves out, but it's of course not the way we want to play. All right, so this is a very cool thing with these more like arcade button feeling, long travel, very strange. But yeah, I have seen them before in the G1000. Oh, I need to say it correctly, G1000. Uh, if you look at this overall product, it's not bad at all. It's more like this mini arcade machine that you can hook up to your television and just play together with your body. The controls, yeah, I have seen these before. Um, they're not the best, I prefer a bigger controller. Uh, D-pad is also very good, uh, a little bit sturdy with this version, but there's more like a quality problem, I think, or I guess. Button, the button mapping, it's not perfect. For example, 3-5-3, notice that the punch button are all correctly, in my opinion, but it messed it up with the kick button. Uh, there is a way to swap it out in the setting menu when playing a game, so that's not a big issue. Um, if you can use every USB controller for the people who are going to ask, no. They are limited to the Chinese version they are selling. Still figure out which one will fit on this device. Nevertheless, this is what you're going to get. 
I think it's really cool. I'd really love to hear your opinion about it. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and become one of the Wicked family. And that means I will see you in the next video.